let's find the orthogonal projection of some vector b onto another vector a. In order to make the orthogonal projection of this b, we need to make the perpendicular to this a and find a vector p along this vector a. So this vector p is along this vector a, so that is why it can be obtained by just scaling this a, by just changing the lengths of the a. So that p can be obtained by just multiplying the a to some constant, where x is some scalar. At the same time, we know that if you put the two vectors on the same point, and if you just add their connection points, ending points, then this vector is going to be their subtraction, so b minus p. So if the p is the orthogonal projection of the b, then this vector b minus p is going to be orthogonal to this vector a. So the two vectors orthogonal of the scalar product is equal to zero. I would like to just multiply the a vector to the b minus p vector and equalize them to the zero. It's going to be a transposed multiplied to the b minus p is equal to the zero. And from here we can find actually this x. So by substituting this p with the ax, we can obtain the equation that is going to be b minus ax. So by opening up the brackets, it's going to be a transposed to the b minus a transposed to the ax is equal to the zero. We can obtain that the x is equal to a transposed to the b divided to the a transposed to the a. So please note that we can do this division because a transposed to the a is a constant, a transposed to the b is a constant. So please note that this is not a projection vector. This is going to be just a scalar. x is a constant. So in order to obtain the projection vector p, we need to multiply the a transpose to the b divided to the a transpose to the a onto the a again, according to this formula. So let's do an example. So let's say b is some vector 1 and 1. I would like to project this onto the another vector 2 and 1. So in order to find the projection vector, we're going to multiply the a transpose, which is 2 and 1, to the b, which is 1 and 1. Divided to the a transpose, which is 2 and 1, multiplied to the a, and we additionally multiply this to the 2 and 1. So the, this multiplication is going to be equal to the 3, this multiplication is equal to the 5, and it is additionally multiplied to the 2 and 1, so this is going to be 6 over 5 and 3 over 5. So we can check whether this is the correct one. So if you subtract the b minus p, so this vector should be orthogonal to this a, right? So let's do this. So 1, 1 minus 6 over 5 and 3 over 5. So this is going to be minus 1 over 5 and 2 over 5. So if we multiply this vector to the a, it should be given, it should be equal to the 0. So basically a transposed to the b minus p should be equal to the 0. So let's check this. It's going to be t1 multiplied to the minus 1 over 5 and 2 over 5. It is going to be t multiplied to this, which is 2 over 5, and 1 multiplied to this, which is plus 2 over 5 is equal to the 0. So this is the formula to find the projection of one vector onto the another one.